Okay, so one day down on the stress test for Mortal Kombat 1, so I figured I'd give an update here on my thoughts thus far. Uh, I'm going to be doing more streaming tonight as well as giving further update videos of the remaining days to come, of course, but I wanted to kind of check in with everybody and let you all know, here's what I'm feeling thus far. Um, before I do that, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're a Mortal Kombat fan and you have not subscribed, what are you doing to yourself? Because you're missing all sorts of great Mortal Kombat content. We've been doing this for almost nine years now, and we do videos, we do podcasts, we do live streams, we do it all, and we deep dive into Mortal Kombat's history as well as cover all the things for the latest game. That being said, my thoughts on the Mortal Kombat 1 stress test right now, it is, I am just absolutely loving this game. I think it is going to make so many people happy because I feel like it's addressing so many of the things that we asked for, for Mortal Kombat to be again. Like it's reestablishing its identity. It's taking its identity back and putting it in the forefront of this is what Mortal Kombat is. It's the it's the Kung Fu, the, the Asian martial art aesthetics from the, you know, the 80s and 70s movies and it even has like the wuja you know fighting in the air there's so much combo potential here but yeah i just there's so much here to love uh just right off the bat still my favorite thing i think in the game are the stages they look absolutely stunning and i can tell you just playing in them is even so much better than just looking at them on the screen there's just there's they're overflowing with details and just little bits and so much to love they're like paintings uh we recently said on a podcast that it felt like in mk11 even though mortal kombat 11 had a great uh art style and it was definitely more colorful um a lot of the stages were just like one color you know like the the desert was all you know deserty it was all orange or tan or whatever the fight club for the black dragon fight club or whatever it was called that was all purple and then you had like the black or the the dragon gato grotto i don't know i can't think it's been a crazy few days but the the dragon grotto that was like all blue and all green so everything was like one or two colors and then that was it the fire garden was all kind of like that red and orangish color um the blood sea was all red you know stuff like that um whereas these stages are just overflowing with multiple colors you have contrasting colors you have the blues the oranges the greens the pinks and so on and so forth and like Johnny's stage alone has just such a color variety. Like I said, it's like looking into a beautiful painting and that's what I love about it. So it gets me, it just really like brings you into the game. It reminds me of Mortal Kombat 2 in terms of like art style. They're not trying to go for ultra realistic anymore. It's more of like a an actual, like a Disney or a Fortnite. And then not in a bad way, in a great way that it's actually being its own art style again instead of just trying to be realistic and the colors really show like I've been playing in 4k and uh, the darks like the contrast between the shadows and the lights and the, the way the colors are so vibrant and pop and there's such variety reminds me so much of Mortal Kombat 2 and aesthetically I think that was Mortal Kombat at its best in terms of just like, overall presentation um, so this is like capturing that it feels like and honestly the game itself just feels like a, a culmination of so many of the the great ideas over all the Mortal Kombat games over the years and it's it's cherry picking the best parts and putting them all in one game and that is what excites me the most about this because I feel like the potential for this game is through the roof um, especially if they listen to feedback from players from playing this stress test and they can make those tiny little tweaks because it's just tiny little tweaks it's nothing crazy the, fa the foundation for this is so solid, and if they stick the landing, uh, I think we are looking at possibly the best Mortal Kombat of all time, if not at least one of the best, because it's gonna be, for me, I think it could be up there with Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat Deception, and um, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 in terms of best Mortal Kombats of all time. I've been saying that for months, just based on a feeling, and what we've seen is only further corroborated that, but now that I've played it, I can tell you I think uh, I, I I think I think we're in safe hands here, and I, I hope they like I said I hope they listen to the feedback. As for that feedback, um, the gameplay the gameplay is so solid for this game. This game is so much fun. I played it for several hours, streamed for several hours last night. You can see all that in in our uh, live stream history, and playing matches and playing sets with down four um, online was a lot of fun and learning Katana and Sub-Zero so far. Those are the two characters I really started learning combos and 
I just the, the so many little tiny fine details in the gameplay, all the animation, Sub Zero doing a lot of this, Katana doing a lot of flips and fan throws, and uh, everything is just so beautiful and fun to look at. But what my recommendation would be on the gameplay is like the combos and all that feel great. The only thing I want to I want to see, and other people have talked about this as well. I believe Max has probably expressed this. I just haven't looked at a lot of his stuff, but from what I've heard is just to increase the speed a little bit. It just, things need to get a little bit faster and smoother. Um, I think you can do that by sh uh, shortening the duration of frames, just in general, like recovery frames and like that. Just take out anything that's unnecessary and make it a little bit more snappy. So that way you're, you, you pressing buttons is continuous rather than you're pressing buttons and watching things play out a little bit too long in some cases. So. Um, I think it would be smoother if you just um, shorten some of those frames and that that's a good step. I think dashes could be more useful. Right now, the walk speed is tremendous. I love the walk speed, but I think there needs to be a way to get in a little bit quicker. So make the, the dashes go further quicker. So that way, if we're, <clears throat> excuse me, if we're not gonna get a run, which is fine. If we're not gonna get like a run included, which I doubt they would do at this point in, in the development cycle, cause that would just change everything. But if we're not gonna get a run, um, let's do, let's make the dashes just get you in there um, at least like 1.5 times as fast as what the walk speed does. So dial it up by about 20% speed wise. And I think we, that would be great. Um, so that that's really exciting. And then maybe make things a little bit safer um, cause it should be, People love offense heavy games. That's why Mortal Kombat X was so fun. And, and a lot of reasons why Mortal Kombat 9 was so fun. You don't want to kind of resort to turtling or going defensive. You want to be encouraged to act, to be the one to act. And I think making things safer um, would do that. So that, I, I think with those tweaks, that's all you need. Like those are easy minor tweaks you can make to really get this game on launch to be the best foot forward but I am so excited by the gameplay, the aesthetics, and I, just to see the roster filled out. Once, now that we like really, I, I've gotten a feel of what it, it feels like, it makes me want these characters um, from the 3D era and my favorites from Trilogy, like Cyrax and all that. Like, I wanna see these characters realized in this game. I wanna see great uh, characters on the roster. I wanna see cameos, because the cameos are fun and uh, I'm really digging them. They're tricky to use, but it excites me just how ingrained they are into the game. They feel really special. Um, like they're given a lot of limelight as well. So this, yeah, I am super excited based off of day one and I have a lot of hope and faith and excitement for this game. So uh, yeah, I. That's kind of where, that's my report right now. Maybe we'll see what happens on day two and see if I, anything new comes to mind. I, I'm looking forward to trying the other two characters as well. But uh, let me know what all of you think so far based on what you've seen, what you've felt, if you got to play it. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below what your favorite things have been, any recommendations you have for the game, how you're feeling, pros, cons, whatever. And uh, yeah, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I am at Nethercast on Twitter, so check that out. And we also have a community on Discord in the description. That being said, I will see you all very soon. Like I said, we're gonna be doing some more streaming throughout the day and night, so check those out and uh, continue enjoying Mortal Kombat 1. It's been absolutely awesome. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for all of your support. I greatly appreciate it. Couldn't do any of this without you. So thank you very much. I will see you very soon.